All right, we know what the Copyright Term Extension Act, Sonny Bono proposed it, he then skied into a tree and then Congress said, oh, we should honor him and create the Copyright Term Extension Act, which added 20 years to copyright um, duration, um, you know, and this is why 2019 a big, uh, was a big year because, you know, everything that was going to go into the public domain in 1999 started going to the public domain on 2019. So it really just froze the public domain for so long. And it was ironic that Disney did this. Now, Lawrence Lessig, whose, whose book, you know, you've been looking at <laughs> or asked to read, um, you know, he's an actual lawyer and a damn good one. And he actually went to court with a group of lawyers in Eldred v. Ashcroft to challenge the constitutionality of the Copyright Term Extension Act. Eric Eldridge was someone who uh, took books that were going to be in the public domain, he digitized them and put them out. Well, he did that and wanted to continue to put out books that were going to be in the public domain starting in 1999 that were now not going to be in the public domain because of the Copyright Term Extension Act. So he went to the Supreme Court, essentially with Lessig and a team of lawyers, where they ruled that, that or where they argued that the um, Copyright Term Extension Act violated the limited times of the Constitution. If you remember back to week one where it said copyright should be for a limited time. And the way that the you know, pro-business, pretty conservative Supreme Court interpreted limited times was forever minus a day. So soon when, when you know, Mickey Mouse is going to be public domain here in three years, um, when you start hearing about this, you know, and pushing for this and, and, and you know I mean when companies start pushing to extend copyright law when you start to hear about these things which you probably will um, because the internet distributes information a, a little bit better than it did you know or than news media did 20 years ago um, you know uh, you just have to take note of you know the fact that the Supreme Court or whatever law is being proposed they could say 200 years copyright duration, 500 years, 1,000 years copyright du duration, because it's still not forever. It's, it's forever minus a day. It's still a limited time. And that's kind of the significance of Eldridge v. Ashcroft is Lessig lost, Eldridge lost, and they interpreted limited times to mean forever minus a day. <laughs>